we're going to show you how to put ankles, hips, and knees in position. So you'll lay down here. Head. Mm -hmm. Head there. Now, most of this, again, you don't have to have special training for, but this is one that you'd want to go through in slow motion first, which is what I'm going to do with it also, to kind of get the flow of it, and then you can do it. My suggestion is this is one that my preference is people do it first with somebody who's used to body work, and then they do it alone. So I'm going to move down here, and we're going to work by pulling the knee up like this. Now I'm going to cradle the heel in my palm so that I have hold of the heel and the kind of the Achilles heel, that little tendon area, all together. First I'm going to direct the knee to go in this way. Now this is for hips, this is for knees, and this is for ankles. So you're going to put a torque on the hip Bring it down like this and then pull down this way. It's a slow motion. And the other part is if I go outwards. So I push out this way and pull down, boom. And the third part is bend it, bring the leg well up this way and simply pull straight down. So let me go over that one more time, slow motion. First in, and you're going to do a twisting as you do it. Twist by pushing the knee in and then pull down. And then you're going to do out, and again with leverage still making it twist out, pull down, and third is straight up and down. Now, our model does have a hip slightly out of place, and I'm going to do this in appropriate action or appropriate speed with the intention of starting to put the hip in place. So, first I bring it up this way, bring the hip in this way, you see there's a nice snap to it that helps a lot. Now, I'm going to do the other side to keep it perfectly even. So, it's the same movement, and again I'm going to keep this in an appropriate time span. So I'm going to first go in. There it went. And finally down. Good. Now if I can scoot you back up, mm -hmm. you may pull your subject right off the table. Um, again, this one's not in the book, and we're simply going to take advantage of something we don't normally have a chance to. When there is some injury in the hip, every once in a while the pubic bones, which come together like this, slip and they go more like this. So if you put a hand on each of the, the hip bones, now you don't do this with somebody with osteoporosis, uh, osteoporosis or some other injury in the hip, and all you do is ask the model to take a deep breath, let it out, and you push down. Now what happens is it slightly separates the hip structure, two big bones go out, and they automatically come back together again. And if I check to see if we did it correctly, both heels are even now. Again, that one's not in the book, it's just an opportunity that we took while we 